Hi, I'm Dan McCabe with Avalon Integration, and today we're here to talk about the new Zebra TC52. The Zebra TC52 is the newest in a long line of rugged handheld mobile computers from Zebra. The line started with the TC55 in 2014, and then proceeded to the TC5156 in 2016, and now today in 2018 we have the TC5257. Let's take a look. So there's really only two things in the box. There's the device itself and the battery. And one thing that a lot of uh, clients like that differentiates these devices from the older ones is that the battery connector is uh, super well designed and nearly an indestructible. So it's very, very easy for users to attach the battery. Um, what you'll find when you turn this device on is that it's essentially a modern, uh, completely up-to-date uh, Android smartphone that works exactly like the Android smartphone that you might buy uh, at your cell phone store. Uh, the differentiator being that it is uh, reasonably rugged and of course has an embedded barcode scanner. Um, the scanning on this is super, super ergonomic. There's a scan button on the left side and a scan button on the right side, so it works equally well for both, uh, both handed users. These are very popular in places like retail, um, primarily because you can put this device in your pocket. And so if you can put the device in your pocket, you're much less likely to drop it, and you're also much less likely to lose it. One of the things that's been somewhat of a surprise to us in the industry is that these are now also very, very popular in the warehouse uh, for pretty much the same reason. Uh, in the old days, uh, people would carry around a, a brick or a gun-style device, and they would constantly have to set it down to use two hands. Uh, with this sort of device, you can use an optional hand strap and just keep it in your hand at all times. Um, or again, you can just stick it in your pocket. So, and as you can see, uh, when this device boots up, uh, what you get is the regular Android out-of-box experience, uh, which basically has you connecting to Wi-Fi, uh, and then it becomes ready to go. So I'll do that offline. So here's what the device looks like after it's fully booted up. Uh, as you can see, it's a completely modern, standards-compliant uh, Android device that looks a heck of a lot like the Android devices that you might buy uh, at the cell phone store or at some big box uh, retailer. From a software perspective, one of the things that's most exciting about this is that you can just start the browser, uh, click in the search box, and scan a barcode and have that information go right into your application. So basically what that means is that if you're a corporate developer uh, that needs to build something to solve a business problem, uh, you don't need to download any special software, you don't need to learn any special tools or techniques or technologies. Uh, basically all you have to know is how to build a website that runs well on a phone and essentially you get scanning for free with no extra effort. This is really, really popular uh, amongst smaller enterprises that don't have a lot of specialty developer expertise and also uh, inside of large enterprises uh, where there are business needs that don't justify the cost of specialty development expertise. Works well for both. Yeah, one of the nice things about these new, more powerful devices with faster processors and more memory is that they can fundamentally do things that the old devices couldn't do. And here's something that we just uh, got trained on today that I, I think is really, really exciting, and that's voice recognition. So check out how this works. Start. This is a test of Zebra voice recognition. There you go, right into my app. No programming required. That can be a huge productivity enhancer. So you've heard me talk about how the Zebra TC52 is a modern, standards-compliant Android device. Uh, you might be wondering, what's the alternative? Believe it or not, in 2018, there are still hundreds of thousands of these legacy devices deployed that are in use every day. And this is what one of those legacy devices would look like. This is a Zebra uh, MC65. This was state-of-the-art in 2014. And it, as you can see, uh, it's kind of Blackberry-like because Blackberries were really popular back in 2014, or at least still somewhat popular. Um, it's got a keyboard, but it tends to be hard to use uh, when you're wearing gloves or when your hands are cold outside or potentially in the dark. Um, it's got a reasonable sized screen, um, but it turns out it's a resistive touchscreen, not a capacitive touchscreen, and that means you need to use a stylus. Um, so what we find now is if you hire on a new worker, uh, be they, a, uh, whether they're a young worker, a middle-aged worker, or an older worker, um, you're not going to find anybody that takes to this device immediately because this is comparatively hard to use um, and 
and not at all consistent with what people are used to uh, from their personal life. So while the training burden on this uh, is, is substantial, the training burden on this is, is much, much, much less, and the end user satisfaction and the productivity um, almost can't be compared between a legacy device like this and a device like this. And that's why a lot of companies now are investing in refreshing their technology from you know, modern in 2014 to modern in 2018. It's basically a step change in technology.